You're suffering from a denial of service attack. This could be an ICMP float, SYN float attack, and so on. Now, your IPS alerts you, and you can block the attacker, but you can also ban its IP. You can also quarantine its IP address. Let's look at it. If you navigate to policy and objects IPv4 denial of service policy, you can create different denial of service policies under uh, layer 3 anomalies or layer 4 anomalies. You can set up the different thresholds and you can set up the action either to disable, to block, or to monitor the event. Now, one thing is missing that is, ban or quarantine the IP address of the attacker. Now, how do you do so? You need to move to your command line, config, firewall, denial of service policy. Here you will set the uh, policy. Let's just edit the first one. And then you need to write down config anomaly. Now, there are different types of anomalies. We can see the different types here. There's the ICMP sweep and there's the uh, TCP have open connections, which is actually a scene that is sent without the uh, ACK and, and so on. There's the uh, um, uh, ICMP sweep and the port scanning and other vulnerabilities that your IPS can actually alert you from. So let's configure the anomaly. Let's set the anomaly to ICMP float. Now, once you do so, you can actually set the different parameters such as the status. Do you want uh, to log the uh, attack itself? Uh, do you want to quarantine? Now, we want to quarantine it, so we will quarantine the attacker. Once you do so, you can set the quarantine expiration time. Here it is, and we can set it to um, different time intervals. The default is five minutes, but we can set it to um, one day, one week, three hours, and so on. So let's set it to one day. There it is. Now you can also set the uh, log. You can enable logging of different anomalies. Let's set it also, and let's end it. And that's it. Now, whenever your IPS sees such a, an event, it will it will act upon, but it will also ban or quarantine the IP address.